Thank you, President, uh, Commissioner, dear colleagues. Human rights in Iran move us Europeans particularly, not only because we consider the EU as a community of values and not only because we believe in a world without the death penalty, but also because today we are all too aware of the individuals behind the numbers. At least 388 people executed in Iran in 2009 alone. These individual deaths are meant to deter a generation in their calls for freedom, but in fact they inspire a multitude more. In recent weeks, a lively discussion about human rights in Iran erupted in the Netherlands as a Dutch-Iranian citizen is imprisoned. The Iranian government does not recognize Dutch citizenship of the dual nationals. Therefore, Dutch diplomats have not been able to speak with her and neither have her lawyers. The Dutch government engages with citizens in prisons all across the world regardless of their cases. It is a constitutional obligation to provide for the well-being of its citizens. This, this issue matters to all member states and should be addressed EU-wide in relation to Iran, bringing human rights to our agenda more prominently. Today, we're talking about people, women, individuals, whose lives, even if they are still alive, are effectively over. Zahra and Zakine are no exception to the thousands of prisoners in Iran who are less known and who may feel as though their voices are not heard. The Iranian government should realize that it is not tough language, military technology or resilience in times of sanctions that will end the country's self-isolation or move it forward. Rather, the legitimacy derived from providing for the well-being of citizens earns respect and credibility in the international community. Justice and security are actually two sides of the same coin. There cannot be impunity to people who hang children, who systematically censor and rape and who stone women. When addressing Iran, let's revive the human rights dialogue so that the EU sends a strong signal besides that of the euro, besides that of sanctions, and engages Iran on its most sensitive and our most fundamental point, human rights and fundamental freedoms, and ties consequences to their abuse. Thank you. Herzlichen Dank.